Hello Mod Nation, today we're going to show you how to download pretty much anything you want without running the risk of getting caught by, uh, you know, developers, movie places, your ISP. Um, much better alternative to BitTorrent because what a lot of people don't realize is while in BitTorrent, um, you know, other people can see your IP, you can be reported, and consequently your ISP can shut your service and then you'll have to call them and lie and say you have an unsecured Wi-Fi router and someone else did it or something ridiculous like that. So let's get started. Um, here we're going to be showing you how to do this with IRC. Uh, these are the websites you need. Of course the top one I'm throwing in my blog there so you can keep up to date with other stuff I'm showing. Um, MIRC is the one of the applications you need. RAR Lab or WinRAR is the other and the XDCC report is simply a search engine that we use. So first we're going to start off with um, the download of MIRC. Just go to the website, it's very simple. You click download MIRC, it takes you to another website. You click download now. You save it, install it, do what you got to do. WinRAR, a little bit more complicated, so still pretty simple though. Um, what you're going to want to do is go to this download page or once you get to RAR Lab, just click on downloads. Then there's going to be listed a bunch of different types. Obviously, if you're Mac or BSD, Linux, you know, you, you'll know which one's yours. But the difference between the 64 bit and the 32 bit windows does make a difference. So, in order to find out which one you actually need, is very simple. You're going to go to Start, Control Panel. Once your Control Panel is open, you're going to scroll on down to System. And right there under system, it's going to say 64-bit or 32-bit operating system, whatever it is that you have. Um, then you will download whichever one applies to you, run it, install, and you're good to go. So, once you have those installed, there are a few things that you're going to want to tweak in the IRC. Um, me personally, I'm a big fan of changing the color scheme around, that way it looks like this. Uh, you can do it to your taste. As far as the options go, you're going to go to Tools, down to Options, and what we're going to be working with is the DCC section. Um, normally, users will want the Show Get dialog. Um, if file exists, you're going to want Resume. And for options, you don't need to worry about folders. You can change if you'd like. Just go into Edit, and this will basically select which folder all these files get saved in. The Ignore is a bit counterintuitive, but you're going to want this to be disabled. As long as you have the show get dialog on your DCC, you're okay though. Because what this is saying is, when someone tries to send you something, a box is going to pop up and say, hey, this person is trying to send you this. Do you want it or not? And you'd say yes or no. If ignore is on though, you won't even get those notifications. So you could say, hey, somebody send me this. And they'll try to, but you're not even going to know about it. Ignore just completely gets rid of all of that for you. So that's all these settings that you need to show in IRC. And in just a moment here, we're going to connect, show you how to find servers, and show you how to get those packets. All right, so the next step after you have your IRC client configured is to find the packets you want. Packets is just a way that we use to describe, uh, you know, if, if there's various files that go into the use of something, or like a CD has multiple tracks, um, those get all zipped into one file and then later are unzipped whenever you'd like to use them, um, which is a one-time thing, so don't worry about that. Um, there's a website called XDCC Report, and what it's going to do is, basically it's going to search all the different networks connected to IRC. So let's say for the hell of it, we wanted to find an MIRC client because, um, just because. So it will list all these different places that have it. It will list the network, the channel, the bot, everything you need to know. And the easiest way to connect off of this is to click the packet number. It will automatically open in IRC and automatically connect you after you clicked OK. And then all you have to do after that is copy and paste this right here, the command. Uh, but I'm going to show you an even easier way to do it on a network that I know and trust. And we'll go from there. Okay. 
Okay, so more times than not, after you connect to a channel or a chat room, whatever you'd like to call it, from a website like XDCC Search, it will come up with something like this. Just a bunch of scrolling text that you don't really want to read through and you don't have to. That's the beauty of it. If you look all the way up here at the top, it's going to say slash join elite chat, and it will give you all of these functions. So it's quite easy to do. All you do is type exactly what you see, join elite chat. Or, you know, it helps if I type it right. So, we're in this room now. Um, we were looking for MIRC before. Um, all we have to do is hit search, type in MIRC. There you have it. It'll list what's available. The MIRC 7.1 is the current version, and as you can see, a lot of people have downloaded it. And at the end of every search, on this network anyway, you will get a trigger. Um, this message all the way to the end. The cool thing is, as soon as you highlight something and let go, it's automatically copied for you in IRC. So all you have to do is right click and paste or do control V and it will just pop right up for you. Then you're going to hit enter. And just like that, it's going to try to send you it. It's going to say basically, this nickname is trying to send you this file and it's this size. So you would hit accept and it would automatically open and begin downloading the file. Uh, generally, IRC is going to be a very rapid pace, a lot faster than BitTorrent as well, so that's a good thing too. After it's done, all you have to do is click Open, and it will ask you if you really want to open this file. That's your comfort level, um, but yes, everything you get here is for the run-of-the-mill. It's, it's all legitimate, kind of. Well, it works. So you hit Yes. And it's going to open with the program we talked about earlier called WinRAR. Now, the cool thing about WinRAR is all you have to do now is drag this to your desktop, and it's going to unzip it for you. In here, you have all the different files you need. So what you're going to want to do is open up a notepad, just a blank notepad, and drag in the NFO anytime there is one. That is our way of displaying information. So. After you have your NFO opened, you know, make it nice and big and let's see if I can get to where it fits on the screen for you guys. And you're going to want to go down to where it says install. So right here, install. A little hard to read, but, you know, people do all this crap. I don't know why. So unpack, we've done. Install would be just to run this mirc.exe like you how you would install any program. Um, copy over the cracked exe and run keygen to register. So that is a bit more to describe to you. In the folder, there's going to be usually a crack folder. This is what it's talking about. This is the crack and the keygen. Where the crack goes is you're going to open up my computer and wherever you have your IRC installed, which is program files. In this program files, you go to MIRC and there's going to be an MIRC.exe. What you're going to want to do is basically take this and copy it in there and do copy and replace and then use this keygen to register with its obnoxious sounds. There we go. So, that's how you do it. Every release is going to be different. Obviously, you're not going to have to do this for music or movies or anything like that but this is still a viable way to get anything you want. So, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, which is gripes, complaints, let me know. Other than that, I'm going to call it quits for this one, and we will see you around.